So I have a PetSmart haul for you guys. I purchased some like supplies and also um, some new fish and snails. So I'll show you the supplies first and then the fish at the end of the video. So I spent quite a bit of money actually. I spent um, $32.27 uh, mainly because of one thing. So let's show you kind of what I got first. So I got this this <laughs> this small airstone and um this is probably gonna go in my 30 gallon and possibly my 10 gallon I don't know um, I'm gonna see how the um, bubbles come out first and then I also got a new fine mesh fishnet yes I already have a fishnet but um, if you know the um, this is a three inch one. So if you know the 3 inch one that I have currently, the handle is very long so it's kind of harder to use in my 10 gallon tank. And the blue one, um, the net area is too small. So this one is perfect so it would work perfectly fine for my 10 gallon tank. And this was 99 cents. A bunch of this stuff were on sale. That the um, PetSmart is having like a 3 day sale. Um, I don't know why, but they just are. So I got that. And then the expensive thing was this. And this was $7.99. And it is a reversible aquarium background from Marina. And it's a blue and also black one on the inside. So um, I don't know what I'm going to use yet. But um, I plan on probably using the black one blue it's a maybe, but either way, it's versatile, so I can decide um, later. Okay, so I got some snails. I have a black, a blue, an ivory, and a gold. And these are like small ones. I asked um, the girl or the worker or whatever to pick out some smaller ones. Um, these are going to go in my planted tank. And also... Um, this was, well, at least in, because every state is different because of, like, regulations with the, um, fish and stuff. Um, they now have nearite snails, so, yeah, they're cheaper than mystery snails, but the thing is, nearite snails are known for, like, eating your plants, so I decided to not get any nearite snails, but just to stick with some mystery snails. And even though my planted tank is not set up yet, um... I bought them first kind of as like an incubation, um, for an incubation period or, you know, whatever. Um, they're just going to go in my 30 gallon tank to make sure nothing's wrong because it's easier to see if any fish has any kind of disease when they're in my 30 gallon tank. Um, whereas a planted tank, it's heavily, it's going to be heavily planted, so it's going to be harder to, um, see if a fish is dead or anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these back in and get the fish out to show you guys. Okay, so I got five guppies. I think five. And then, um, they're going in my 10-gallon planted tank. And then, also, I got a balloon molly. So, it's like a orangey... It's orange on the top and then silver on the bottom. I used to have a balloon molly also, but, um, I think it had a clamped fin. Um, so that's why it died, but there we go. I don't know if you guys can see them clearly, but then also, let's see what else I got. I got three females, three guppy fancy females, and they kind of have like a cobra tail, but since females are known for like, you can tell the difference really easily because of their dull colors. So one of them has a really nice tail. They all have cobra tails, but some of them are only like half cobras. So, I, I don't know if... Like, it's kind of hard to explain. But, um, can't really see them in the bag. But three, like, lighter colored ones over there are the females. And then I also got a tequila sunrise male. And then a, I believe, oh, a neon tuxedo guppy. So, um, yeah. I only, so now I have five females and three males. Now, I probably need to end up getting more females or something, but I do have some fries, so it'll all be good in the end. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys next time.